Hi, friends. Uh, Doug and I have a little COVID offering, a gift that we would like to offer you today. Uh, something that we were thinking about working on this spring anyway was a Bach sonata. Uh, this is a Bach sonata originally for viola da gamba in Chambolo. Uh, the viola da gamba, of course, was an instrument popular in the early 18th century that looked nothing like this. It was, of course, a large cello-like string instrument. Uh, and uh, when one is stealing music written for another instrument, uh, there are a couple of things that one has to bear in mind. And the first one, of course, is that you need to not do any violence to the music itself. You need to make sure that you're not subverting the ideas the composer had in mind when he or she was putting that, that music to the paper. Uh, and with this piece, we actually have a very good clue in that regard, and it's that Bach himself took an, a different viola da gamba sonata and rearranged it for two flutes and basso continuo. So not only do we know that Bach thought, thought such things were okay with those pieces, uh, he also essentially showed us how to do it. He showed us how to switch lines around, how to take a line from one instrument and move it to another instrument so that it would fit the melodic contour and the call of the octaves that are necessary. Now, the other thing, of course, that you need to bear in mind is that the people who play the instrument that you just stole the music from might find you and beat you up. Now, with the viola da gamba, I feel pretty confident about this because there are not a lot of viola da gamba players running around nowadays, and the ones that I know are not very tough. So I feel confident that I can hold my own against any viola da gamba player who cares to challenge me. Now, you'll notice that Doug is playing on an unusual instrument over here. This is an electronic harpsichord. Of course, Converse has a couple of real harpsichords that are tucked away backstage. But given the social distancing rules that are operative nowadays, it seemed like really a, an awful pain in the neck to get those harpsichords in tune and keep them in tune. Uh, and so we busted out this little electronic thing instead. This is a great, great little instrument. Uh, it's not an ordinary keyboard. It only plays harpsichord, clavichord, and portative organ sounds. Uh, it's tunable to pitches between a 396 and a 448, I believe. Uh, and you can program all kinds of different tuning systems as well. Uh, and it really sounds and feels like a harpsichord. Uh, and so it's been fun for us to get to know this piece and then to get to know it in the harpsichord. We were rehearsing it on Thursday and Doug said, hey, what would it sound like if I played this in the electronic harpsichord? And so we moved from his Steinway grand piano to the electronic harpsichord. Uh, and it's made for a new piece out of a piece that was a new piece for us already. So this has been fun to play and we hope you enjoy it. The Bach of the Ola da Gamba Sonata in G minor.